Welcome back to Frog Compose Band with our Yeek Yellow Mage. Last time we did the Cloning Pits quest to get some new boots, which we did, and we're wearing those now, they're pretty nice. And um, then we went down and we killed Oberon on level 99 of Ang Band. So, that, so um, that's another step towards completing the game. We can go kill the Serpent, I mean, we, maybe we can, maybe we can't. We can definitely go fight the Serpent right now. Uh, but we're not doing that just yet. And after we killed Oberon, we went and did the old castle quest and we got this wizard stuff. So our equipment is looking pretty nice, except that we don't have a lot of speed. And our selection of rings and amulets aren't that great. What I'd like to do is find something better to wear than our current jewel, uh, jewelry. And um, I have a bit of gold set aside at the moment, so I think I'm going to go blow that all at Zul. Shuffling the jewelry shop and see if we can get something there. If I can get something there, I won't have to spend time in the dungeon. So let's see if we can make that happen. Just enough hunger to get over. While we're here, actually, I forgot last time, but we are mutated, so I should fix that. You can fix um you can cure mutations at an bar as well, but it's much more expensive. Kinda wanna kill this guy, they usually drop some gold. And while we're here, maybe it's worth doing um the quest that allows you to teleport to Zul. Um so our current ring of speed is a plus six one. And we're also getting plus two from Nenya, but we're also, in addition to the speed from Nenya, getting constitution. So I kind of want to replace Nenya with a um, ring of speed, but I do like the con it's giving me. So it would have to be a nice ring of speed for me to replace it. Plus seven ring of speed, that's an upgrade, so we'll buy that. And I guess I will wear that over Nenya. So we're 765 health, not too much less health. And we can keep shuffling for a bit and see if we can find another ring of speed that's can be a replacement for our first one. Talk of the hero, I think our amulet is already better than that. Yeah. Plus nine, 25% off, that's nice. Okay, so our speed is looking a lot better than it was. Um, don't really have enough gold to shuffle anymore. We'll go once more, we'll go twice more, we'll go thrice more. All right, that's enough. Well, let's see. We're missing levitation now, actually. Um, which Nenya was giving us. That's fine, we can just swap it out if we need it in the immediate future. Which one of these gives you a quest? That one. Um, I'm not too worried about this quest. All of the monsters in here do time damage, which we don't resist, but monsters that do time damage typically don't do very much time damage. The main danger is that it reduces all of your stats. So if they tank our intelligence, suddenly we're a lot less effective with our spell casting. Hopefully we can just pick them off one by one quickly enough that they don't reduce our stats too much. And if things look bad, I can always just leave. Okay, I'm 
not doing terribly. Let's get back some mana and see if we can pick up these other guys as well. I'm using Mana Ball here just because it's a bit higher damage and I I mostly just care about killing them as quickly as possible. I don't really care about stunning them. Oops. Okay, so that's almost all of the scary guys. And that is all of the scary guys gone. So we're pretty much done with this quest now. It's a good cloak. It's our current one. Look at the hero. Resist fear and free action, I think. It's important for us to have resist fear. We, we do have times for resist fear though. Um, shards and chaos are both good. We're double resisting those at the moment, so it would be too much better to be triple resisting those. Let's see how that looks. 747 health, 720 health, so it's not that much less health and we are now triple resisting Shards and Chaos which is very good. Maybe this cloak is worth wearing then. We're not missing, we're down to three free action but that's enough. Um, so I guess I will wear this cloak and we're out of room again, so let's drop Sorcery Book 1. Sorcerer's Stone. Um, I don't care about that really. We can leave it. With this quest done though, we now are able to teleport to Zul, just like we can teleport to the other towns, which is handy. It'll make um, shuffling the jewellery shop easier if we do that again in the future. He also gives you this baseball bat as a reward. has time resistance on it, but time resistance isn't necessary at all. Uh, I'll take it home, but we will likely never use this. Let's put the speed back on. Uh, let's drop curing so we can pick that up. And we can drop all this. We need to buy sorcery book one and curing. Uh, let's go to another town where I can restore my stats. And I think I said last time that I would maybe go down to Angband, see if I can find some vaults, crack them open. So let's see if we can do that. Oh, there's two rings right here actually. This could be good. This guy. Resist plasma. Maybe I don't want to kill him. That might be a pain. Kill her. Uh, let's reset the level a few times and just see if I can find vault somewhere.
check out that amulet. Uh, Sarah and I want to kill. Maybe he'll drop uh, the ring of power for us, the one ring. He's not resistant to plasma, right? No. Uh, let's dimension door back this way a bit and get some of our magic back. Aha. Uh -huh. He doesn't resist teleportation. It's kind of funny that he busted through the wall at the exact same turn that Sauron came into view. Want to be careful of that guy though. He doesn't show up on telepathy. Can this guy be teleported away? Yes. Um, this is getting out of hand now. Let's just destruct. Okay, we were lucky Sauron survived the destruction, but none of the stuff he summoned did. He's teleported away. And there is apparently a great worm of power on this level, which I didn't even realize before. These guys are very scary. We don't want to wake that guy up. And there's that one again. Teleport away again, yep. And the destroyer's back. Let's see if we can just distract him. We cannot. Let's recharge the destruction stuff and just keep trying. Okay, we got him that time. Uh, we should probably actually study recharging to make sure that it's as high as possible. I think with recharging, there's a, um, a chance that when you recharge one of your devices, you destroy it. And hopefully a high proficiency will prevent that from happening. So where's Sarah? He's over there. It would be safer for us to just dimension door into that room. That'll take less energy. Uh, there's stuff over there though. That could be annoying. Well, Sarah's almost dead anyway. 
This guy can be teleported away, let's do that, and let's kill Sauron. Got him. Doesn't look like he dropped a ring. Plus four to life. We're already pretty decent on our health. So let's not worry about that. Um, the body armor we're wearing is going to be better than this, I think. Is this amulet worth wearing? Don't think so. Let's get rid of this guy. Uh, that's nice. Another rod of, or another device with healing on it. Let's drop, what can we drop? Curing, I guess. Don't care about having a Grimmar of Power. These boots, actually. Boots of the Golem. Plus three to con, plus nine percent to life. Resist poison, resist shards, free action. Our current boots give us three con as well. They give us confusion and nexus instead of shards and poison. I think these, these golden boots are better. The only downside for these ones is that they also reduce speed by three. I think I will wear these. Gives us another 40 health. Uh, let's drop book one sorcery and pick up. Let our other boots go. It's an interesting sword. Let's uh, find wherever our other boots went and pick those up. Maybe not actually, if he's gonna summon all that crap. Oh, that's loose. Okay, do we have room to pick them up? We do. Um, this is too dangerous, really. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Now let's get the hell out of here. Okay, let's get out of Angband altogether. And drop off some stuff. And we need a bike curing as well. So we didn't really find any vaults then on that trip. We did manage to kill Sauron though. And these boots are an upgrade, I think. Less speed, but not as big a deal on a yellow mage as it would be on something else. We can probably get away with not carrying mushrooms of pure poison with two sources of poison resistance. Oh, we don't resist Nexus at all now. Actually, were we getting those from Stumper? Yeah, we were. So we can't fight anything with Nexus Breath, which should be few monsters. So that's not too bad. Um, need to buy food probably as well. Ah, we're full up as well. It's kind of evolved down here of Master Thieves, and this might be worth taking out because they humanoid monsters like this often drop a lot of items. And they don't have any ranged attack, I think. So we could just teleport in there, blast them, see what they drop, and then leave. Right. They do teleport you towards them. And I forgot to pick up Book 1 of Sorcery, so let's go back to town and do that. And here's another Great Worm of Power. Uh, so I think I'll just teleport level. This level's too dangerous. do with better gloves as well, actually. Right, book one. Uh, we are out of room. If we're going to go vault cracking, the mass genocide is more important than regular genocide. Okay, back down. Um, 
and we can kill this guy probably. Immune to stunning. Uh, hopefully he doesn't summon anything too bad. And we'll just go with Mana Bowl because he is immune to stunning. Nexus, of course. This guy down here is also coming towards us. Uh, he looks pretty easy actually. Um, without Nexus resistance, I don't really want to fight this thing, even though I probably could kill it. Looks like there's a vault down here. Oh, wait, no, that's just a shop. I guess we can check out these shops. Wow, why are there so many dragons here? Maybe we can't check out the shops. Ah, uh, I'm always carrying too many things. What can I drop? Drop the curing, I suppose. If we get confused or something, there's always healing. These guys breed Nexus, I think. And they resist teleportation. This is not nah, too dangerous. Let's check out a different level. Actually, it probably would be worth carrying um, Book 4 of Sorcery if we're going vault hunting just for clairvoyance. Check out this one last level, then we might go back to town and pick up book four. Dragon Helm could potentially be better than Thranduil. Let's just go back to town. Drop off big healing, pick up book four of sorcery. Uh, we don't need to carry two book fours of Armageddon. Let's learn clairvoyance. is of old anyway. Yep. A couple of rings in there could be good. I think everything is asleep at the moment. We want to get in there very quickly and just grab stuff and get it out, I think. We won't be able to do Dimension Door even next to the vault apparently. I was going to say we won't be able to dimension door inside the vault, but to save turns I want to get right outside the doors. Okay, all the area around the vault you just can't teleport to looks like. These things are already awake, that's bad. I really wanted to get in there before things started waking up and it looks like that is not happening. Let's try um, get a bit closer and read Genocide. Great Hellworm. 
Yeah, that got rid of a fair bit of things, but it also woke up just about everything. Let's try again. That got rid of some more things. How about these guys? Can we teleport these guys away? No. No. Yes. Let's see if we can lure them out here and then just destruct. I don't think I care about these things around the outside. Maybe that amulet. But I'm willing to destruct this stuff if I get rid of all these things at the entrance. Because I really just want to go in and check these rings. There's another thing over here. What's that? Ah, that's interesting actually. That might be worth throwing. I know what artifact that is. We'll see. Okay, let's see if we can destruct these guys. I should heal first as well. Just in case the destruction shuffles around walls and floors and leaves them within line of sight of me. Okay, where are these unmakers as well? Those are bad news. Not in the vault, are they? They are. We need to kill those because they breed. We need to get rid of them as soon as we can. Okay, we just barely missed out destructing that ring, which is good. Aha. Uh -huh. Can't teleport him away. Let's get away from him. We need to get rid of that storm of our magic guy. Doesn't look like he's actually coming out though. Wait, is he? I'm just wandering around aimlessly. Um, we might be able to destruct him from back here though. He should be within range. Yeah. No charges. Let's just uh, recharge that stuff. Okay, I think we got him. Let's back up and rest. Okay, looks like the only things in the main body of the vault are these guys. And they're all asleep. That ring is useless. And so is that one. What else do we have here? Anything else I might want? Not really. Let's just see how long we can stay in here before things start waking up. The gold is good. Um, we can reshuffle the equipment, the jewelry shop is all if we need to with this much gold. I keep on getting scared. Maybe it was a bad idea to get rid of the fear resistance on that cloak. Okay, we can see something now. This guy. We can teleport him away. Uh, more things are waking up. I think we should leave. Let's go back here. And I kind of want to check out that amulet over to the left before I leave for good, if I can. Might not be able to get there. No, I don't think I can get there, it's too dangerous. Okay, any bolts on this level? Nope. Uh, 
I need to find a different downstairs. That one over there will do. I suppose we can try and take out the destroyer. It's got a lot of health though. It's probably not worth it now that I think about it. We can, um, maybe we can just use him to level up to 50. And there we go, we're at 50. I guess we'll go Charisma. That should help us with our fear resistance a bit. And let's just leave. No bolts on this level anyway. So what I want to do, I kind of just want to go have a crack at the serpent and see how that works out. Because it's possible that we just win. I might be over preparing. Two potions of restore mana. The shops reset. Maybe. Wait, what was that? No, it wasn't anything. cheap actually. Why is that so cheap? Yeah, what can we do? I think um go do a bit more of arena, see if we can pick up some uniques. And hopefully they'll drop some more supplies for us. I guess we don't need to carry around um, book four of sorcery anymore. Do we have another one at home? No, I shouldn't just drop it then. Wait, we do with this sound, don't we? Yeah, we do. Uh, actually, does this have... I was thinking that this unique might have a Nexus Breath attack, but she doesn't, so we should be fine. We are, yeah, we have a hole in our Nexus resistance, but everything else is very well covered.
jump right into that guy. Let's go over there to take out that spider god. Poison in the darkness. And can summon stuff, nothing too dangerous. Our AC is actually quite good for a mage. Which is why I wasn't too afraid of letting that guy stand next to us. Let's go dimension door back this way and get some of our whoops. Get some of our magic back. Stationary as well. No, he's just sitting there though. Uh, I guess we'll just go back down into arena and continue doing that for a while. Unless there's any quest we can do. Could try doing um, that Dark Academy quest, I think. Maybe we can do that. Actually, where were we up to in town arena? Might as well just try killing this thing. Light, fire and plasma I think it was, or light, fire, sound, which we resist most of those, resist all of those except for plasma that has that, but yeah, you can never resist plasma, so I guess we'll try this, um, probably want to grab a mushroom, just to help out a bit. Just uh, mana bowl it. Okay, wasn't too bad. That's a lot, of, a lot of mana on that stuff, so that's worth carrying. We probably won't use it as a damage stuff. Create a Balrog. Uh, we've killed one of these before, I'm pretty sure. So we should be fine, hopefully. Uh, what can we drop? Let's go drop off Sorcery Book 4. Just does fire for a lot of damage. Doesn't resist plasma surprisingly, so we should be able to stun him. And another rod of angelic healing, so that's good.
Great Worm of Power. This is the last monster in Arena, and it's possible to kill it with um, a Poison Needle. And I don't think we've actually found a Poison Needle this game, so I won't attempt it. If we do find a Poison Needle before I end up finishing this game, I'll try and kill him. I don't know if there's a particular dungeon that's good for looking for poison needles. I think I've usually found one by around Lonely Mountain, if I do find one. Uh, but for now, let's just restore our intelligence and go back to Arena. I wonder if I can drop the Staff of Healing. I guess it's worth carrying around as a mana battery still. Let's go kill Kundry. I think it must be monsters that resist sound also don't get stunned. I think I'm just going to swap to Mana Bowl then. many colors. We can try taking down one of those, I guess. I've been avoiding them up until now. Let's see. Again, probably better to just go with Manibal. Stunning him won't accomplish that much. We want him to keep on breathing acid like that. That's great. Okay, that wasn't an issue at all, actually. Seems like a small level. There's that um, Hydra again with the Nexus Breath. Because it's asleep, I'm considering trying to fight it. Because we'll get the jump on him. Is he? 13. We should be safe now, it's pretty low health. The Nexus Breath did teleport us though. Uh, hopefully, we can just teleport back. Ah, bugger. Another order for rock speed, is that better than our current one? 106 mana. Oops. 89, that is better. Also take out the demo gorgon. 
Uh, he looks like he won't be too much trouble either. Could summon stuff though. Easy on here. Nothing too bad. We need to get mana back though. Get going. More boots of the golem. Poison nether instead of poison shards. I think I'd rather have poison shards. I guess, hmm, is double resisting nether better than triple resisting shards? What does the serpent do? Nether 85, rocket 330. If I wear these ones, nether 330, rocket 360, that may be better then. I guess these ones are probably better. Or actually, I don't know, because um, the Serpent can also summon Cyber Demons, and if they all rocketed me, that would be trouble. Whereas, a lot of Nether damage happening in one turn is probably not as likely. I think, I think I'll just stick with the ones I already have. reset yet? I don't think so. Hmm. I think, um, I think I am just going to go down, try and kill the serpent, see how we go. But I don't want to do that now. I think I'll stop here and we can try that in the next video. So I would like to have more potions of mana before I try that, but Looks like it's just not happening, so we might as well just have a crack at it and see how we go. But yeah, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.